Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Today we're building this 120p aquarium with Victor. Actually, Victor is the, uh, the creative uh, mastermind behind this idea because I was sitting on a September, sunny September afternoon at my computer and we're always Skyping with each other. And then he, he texts me that, okay, but the problem is that all aquariums at Green Aqua are kind of, you know, hardscape full. We had more stamps probably in the old uh, gallery That's right. and, and less uh, here. I think everyone is somehow concerned and worried about the stem plant. Can you like make stem aquariums great? Like to look great uh, all the time and what would you do with I it? I think so, but we need to, to change probably the trimming. Just not trimming everything in, in one step, but, but trimming here and there. So we okay. see some colorful tops. Actually, we don't. Zero stamps. Oh my yeah. God, Victor. Yeah, you were right. So anyway, so what we're doing, and then I go back to the Hardscape Dojo and I see that you already selected. <laughs> when I was there, he was already in, neck deep into hardscaping. And then he selected this Drama Twisted Wood, which, by the way, is not present in the gallery. By the way, the wood is just like the stamp plant, so many of us just, just worried to use this. Uh, because it's tinting the water Lori, our fish too much. expert, the first thing yeah. that he asked, oh, are we gonna do another brown water aquarium? <laughs> Say why? Yep. Yeah, because if you're using too much, then it's gonna be, the water is gonna be brown for a while, for a half a year maybe. Then I ask him, is this amount okay for you? He tells me, no, no, this is gonna be fine. And, and uh, purity is gonna help yeah, also. Absolutely. Okay, so what about the rocks? We would like to focus on the colorful uh, stem plants in the background. For that reason, we try to avoid the warm tone decoration stone for the front. Okay, so what about the layout itself? Uh, what, what did you have in mind? I've seen the IAPRC uh, this year. Uh, many of the tanks used minimal plants on the foreground, so like moss, Asakurai, small Bucephalandra, small Anubias, and uh, for the back, uh, of course, the colorful stems. But this is how they kind of like achieve the deeper look. We have beautiful lights in the, in the gallery and the really colorful impression or the effect will be with the stamps. So for that, we've selected like 10 different stamps. Okay, and what about the, 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 the background stamps? Where would they go? Probably the ratios would be two thirds will be hardscape. Uh, so the front area. two thirds yeah. will be covered by hardscape? Hardscape and to build up the space. And, uh, to like the vertically. and the one third on the back will be only for stamps. Because that's another mistake that we make. We always actually just have a little bit of, of space in the back for stamps. And that space is usually not enough for a proper graduation in the stamps. Maybe we'll not see uh, really uh, too much uh, from the stamps uh, after the setup, but yeah. we definitely will have a, a very dense planting. Tropica is our main sponsor today for the, uh, for the planting. So thanks for the sponsorship and uh, yeah, we will do our best to make uh, these plants shine in the layout. Absolutely, let's go. Let's go. So this is one version and this is the other version. I would use the opposite way. So point this two way? forward. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. So you want it to lean down like this, or you want it to raise it like this? I would raise it. If we lower it too much, then we emphasize too much on the stamps. We will yes. lose the details of the beautiful foreground. So I think we need to just focus on the top part and see if this is something what we would like to see the end. Just leave enough space for the maintenance. Let's forget about the maintenance. I'm, I will not be popular <laughs> with the team, but you got yeah. you got really weird on the maintenance, Victor. You want me to like cut it here, or we can just cover I, it? I kind with of plants. like it, the the, the shape, and this if we cover band. it with moss, then you will not see anything. That's too much. Hey, this this stone yeah. is too big here, right? Gets out. Start from here. Yeah, and then we can close the gap, right? Mm -hmm. With another stone. We can actually even use uh, 
pieces of wood. What we've talked about, we probably have one third for the for the stamps, so we have space we to lift to the layout. Yeah. yeah, we need to Something raise the like layout this. here. We probably will have like 50, 60 plus stamp plants in the back. We'll use substrate only in the back for the stamp plants. We don't need substrate on the front because we mainly will use uh, moss. But for the stamps, we definitely need uh, a bit more than just the uh, Amazonia. You can do it while I glue it. <laughs> I would probably just lay down and we can fix uh, with the plants. So just put this to the to the ground and move a bit forward. You like that? Yeah, let's keep it now. We, we can remove it at the end. When everything is there, planted. Thanks. <laughs> this was in, in the front glass. I don't like it. Yeah, don't worry about the maintenance at all. Let's just throw in some, some soils because now it's the, I think it looks very ugly and we don't know how many extra support stones we need. Power Sand Advanced M from ADA. Yeah, and why the M? The L would be much larger, so the L size substrate would work for a 400, 500 liter tank. Actually, I'm thinking about maybe we only need this in the, in the corner. You can go more a little bit. So we don't need on the center part, okay. because the stamps will be mainly here. Cool. Okay, let's so pour in the that. Amazonia. We have a tap so we can uh, put in to the, to the soil as well and have enough nutrients in it. I still see a lot of time when uh, people are worried about using Amazonia because it needs a lot of water changes in the first few weeks and maybe clouding the water, but that's, that's not true anymore. I can say that it's, uh, the characteristic of the soil is kind of like similar, like some, some other soils but still has a lot of nutrients in it. Actually, if you remember for the workshop with uh, Philippe, he built a very nice uh, tank uh, a couple of years ago. And there we used a lot of stamp plants for the, for the background. I think we've not used substrate there and we've not really enriched this substrate. We either also used uh, lean fertilizer, so nitrate and phosphate was almost zero. And the plants stored a lot of nutrients at the very beginning. First two weeks was perfect. Plants started to grow super fast. But after that, uh, the lower part of the stem plants started to rot. And then we started to add in uh, more nitrates to the tank. And, uh, and then all the stems just uh, recovered nicely. So that is something to consider because nowadays the lean fertilizer method is, is getting more popular, less maintenance, less Algae, probably. Yeah, that's what I had hope in my mind, that you will work on the hardscape, so I only need to do the planting. <laughs> <laughs> So to where, Matt? Everywhere. To the center? Everywhere. Or even more, it do not have to be symmetrical, so. Aha, uh -huh. okay, it was good, it was good. In one and a half hours, of a 120p hardscape. Yeah, but from that 120 minutes was gluing. Just let me be happy for a moment, please. We need to Keep close the, this. Yeah. We're, this we're whole to, loop, to, we, to, need, to, that, we need the big one here to close it. To hold the uh, soil. Yeah, but... Hmm? That was the inflow.
my chest. Okay. But the, uh, the earlier hmm? position was good. Yes? Yeah. Like here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready. Oh, what's this? Fresh friends from Tropica. All right, just arrived. Wow, yeah, just arrived on time. So Tropica is our main sponsor for this episode. Uh, they provide the beautiful plants for this layout. So we can't wait to start the planting. introduced this this guy to the back as a new hardscape element i think we introduced this one or i don't know if this was ready and then this one you start planting and i will work on the foreground okay some more because i've got some more detail in here we have different kind of stamp plants in size in leaf shape in color so that is something what we need to make looks interesting enough and appealing enough and for example, if we just put in the deepest red to the corner, that's probably not a great idea. We need to have all these red plants in the one third of the tank. Then we will have some stems like the Hemianthus micrantamoides to make the arch of the background plants. We have different leaf shapes as well, Rotala, and we have Ludwigia palustris. We have uh, Pogostemon erectus as well, which could work in front of the colorful stems. So the idea is to use some reds, some greens and oranges and the plant height, the different plant height to play with it and, and have a natural appearance in the back. Then we'll see some Cryptoparva. We have Helocaris acicularis here. We will place these on the front. And of course we're gluing a ton of moss, mainly spiky moss. And we have some Ricardian flame moss. We have some uh, Anubias mini coin from Topica, the new Anubias which is a very small one, actually, a round leaf, a nice tiny green plant, so that will work perfectly on the foreground as well. While Victor was uh, planting the stems to the background, I started adding some detail. So first of all, I added some pebbles to the bottom of these rocks to add some detail to the foreground. And then I started to plant the crypto parva into the sand and on the right side into the soil. I will continue by adding the Elocaris Mini. It seems like the wood is invisible, but when you will trim it back, then some of the wood will be revealed. With the flame moss, we can make some path next to some of the decorations. You want to plant this yeah. moss? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so you want it like in this road here? Yeah, the lines which you want to emphasize for the for the layout. Uh huh. Okay.
We have a bunch of uh, tissue culture plants here and uh, some of them is really young, so their size are extremely tiny, but of course they will grow the same size like the rest. However, when you start an aquarium like this one, you need more plant mass. So maybe you need to order more uh, tissue culture plants than you would order from, uh, from the potted version. We are getting closer to the end. We still have a few moss pieces to use and glue. I don't like how it looks with all these messy moss pieces glued together. Messy mosses. Yeah, but we will trim it as we fill up the tank and uh, then it will look much nicer. Otherwise it would took like one or two extra hours to cut down everything into small pieces and yeah, just glue so everything nice. like what uh, Juan uh, did in a workshop video. So check that out if you want to do some meticulous pieces because that workshop was fine for that. You don't see any, probably anything from the stem plants right now. So they arrived in the tissue version and uh, we need a few weeks to see them growing in the back. Okay, as we mentioned at the beginning, this tank needs a lot of time to mature. You guys are not going to see the end result right now. Uh, we will give three weeks until the B-rolls don't go anywhere because we're going to show it to you how it looks in like three weeks. You guys let us know what you think and please stay tuned for the cinematic updates. Subscribe if you didn't do so yet. Hit that like button to support the production and also you can become a channel member, right? Yep. All right. Great teamwork. Yeah. And I actually enjoyed it a lot, so. Yeah, it's escaping nice. is yeah. good. Yeah, it's good, so people will like it. Yeah, cheers guys. All right, bye. bye.